I'm L.A. Trotter. I'm a 19-year-old a from Richmond, Virginia. Uh, Richmond Roulette pretty much is me taking different artists from Richmond that I know and um, putting them together in the studio. And it's just like I wanted to offer a platform for the guys I mentioned and just guys that reached out to me. And I just wanted to get them, get them all in the studio and just create something, something big for the city and put the city on a platform. You look at QC and you look at Atlanta uh, and you look at TDE and they all came up just from collabing with each other, each other and just doing various things like that. So I feel like Richmond needed a scene. You know, I, I always looked up to Pharrell and all the guys from the 757, whether it be Missy Elliott, Pharrell, you know, so forth, Pusha T, and it's all those guys. And it's like, why can't I do that for myself? Like, why can't we have that in Richmond? So that was the biggest thing for me, and that's why I created Richmond Roulette. When I got all the guys together, um, I pretty much just made a group chat. And one of the first things, like the, the whole purpose of the group chat wasn't even for Richmond Roulette. It was just to connect each RVA artist and, you know, help them collaborate. And I remember one day, uh, T sent an open verse on the, in the group chat. And uh, Brian got on it, like literally in two seconds. Like he sent it and maybe 30 seconds or I mean 30 minutes later uh, he had a he had a whole verse with Ryan on it and he had a whole song which is Chanel and um, when he sent Chanel it was like okay we got something here when he sent Chanel it was totally um, it was it was cohesive like they sounded perfect together and I was like okay we can maybe do a project with this so then each other like everybody in the group chat started sending verses back and forth and back and forth and I was like okay now we need to document this we need to go in the studio and we need to lock in and we need to do something with this because we can't just let all these Richmond artists collaborate without any documentation or anything like that. So I just felt like this was a perfect way to do it, to bring everybody in the studio. It's Richmond Roulette Radio with L.A. Trotter. Caller number four, what you want to hear? All right. All right, that's good. Uh, with the whole Richmond Roulette experience, it wasn't really like anything I planned for months or anything like that. It was like I kind of had an idea because I saw something good and I followed through with it. Richmond Roulette, day one. Hey, yeah, niggas don't know about the shit that we've been through. Fighting these demons, controlling my mental, but it's flying. Stay away from the wind. If a nigga kill you, then I'm shooting his kin phone. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I don't give a fuck, my niggas gon' bust. Niggas talk tough, I ain't never been touched. It's gonna sound way crazier than the other one we made. Right, right. But I like the way this shit's set up too, bro. Like, hey, cause it's like a separate room. Go ahead. That shit's cold. That shit's cold. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. So you can sit down, nigga. You can be on your gun and shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just born and raised in Hampton, actually. And then in the second grade, I moved to Chesterfield. And then Stuff got a little bad, and then I had to move to the south side. And then after that, I just felt like I wanted to take my opportunities. I had my dad living in uh, California, so I said, why well, stay in the hood? I might as well just move to Cali. I've been rapping about four years, but to like actually going hard and like being good and being able to actually get into the studio and stuff. When I listen to a lot of XXX Tentacion because his his music really spoke to me. I was able to re relate to the shit that he was talking about his music. So like the way the way like and I listened to a lot of uh, Uno the Activist and Play Playboy Cardi and Lil Uzi because they was they was hot around them that time and I just liked the energy that they had and the way that they was able to play with their voices and that's what uh, kind of like helped me find my sound. Uh, I know Rico from 
And like, we all met in seventh grade, pretty much. Like most of yeah, us all met in seventh grade here, bro. type shit. So yeah, I moved, I moved to Providence and me and Rico was in the same class. And this is like what we're doing with Richmond Roulette. We used to do that in, in seventh class, grade. Bro. That's crazy, in, in I math, forgot. Bro. In math class. So this is like Richmond Roulette, this whole thing has been something that works since we was like, what, 12, 13, yeah. 14 type right. shit. I chose Verify Sound Studio mainly because I've seen Ray Double, Double R work and uh, he's done a few uh, Grimy Rico's projects and I, f I just felt like everybody in that studio, it's a good vibe. Uh, it's, it's not too big, it's not too small. It's just like everybody, everybody in the same studio just working. I've been rapping for about six months. I just started taking it serious. At first I was just playing around with it. Then everybody was like, bruh, you know, just fuck it, just do it. I would describe my sound as melodic. I like singing a lot. I love singing. Like, you put a beat on, no matter what the beat, I'm putting some singing on it. <laughs> Straight like that. All these times I cry for you. All these times I lie for you. Pull triggers, I'll fly for you. Let me hear that jump from the um, beginning of the verse. Um, I usually freestyle at first just to see how I can like flow on the beat. Then if I get something, I write it down. And then that's that. That's your heart. That's your heart. Hey, my nigga, say that backseat freestyle for me real quick. Hey, my nigga, say that backseat freestyle for me real quick. That shit sound all right, no bull. Yeah, that shit all right, yeah. That shit all right. Hello. What's up? We opened up and closed the store like a year. Months ago, bro. So we've been in this joint chopping it out, doing our own thing, like curating our own vibes. You feel me? Just trying to uh, cultivate positive culture for the community. You feel me? And we're uh, black owned business too, so yeah, one of the few, bro. But welcome. Oh, and right here, our boy Diggs. This yeah, is Remote Barbershop, black owned as well, bro. Actually, fire. Um, he's actually a celebrity barber, so yeah, y'all shot. So, um, Young Land, everybody comes over here, bro. So it's always love. And then rotate. Feel me? Welcome, welcome to the home. What up, bro? Welcome to the ball, bro. Y'all already know the uh, sports he just released today. The Toros, Icy Boys. We get everything. Know that. That's honestly, that's honestly just me. Yeah, like that's Richmond for you, right there. We was just chilling on the street, and you know, Brighton said, "Go check me out. I got some." And uh, yeah, shout out to dudes that ro rotate. Um, you know, they in the cut, but you know what I'm saying? That's that's Richmond culture right there. That's love, it's the family. Yeah. Everything in here. Huh? <laughs> it's sacred. It's sacred, bro. Got everything in here. Butterfly you book. Huh? Can you loop it to why I come here on the beat like how nigga does? Ask him. Where y'all at? Can you skip skip some too? Some more. Oh, yeah. Go ahead tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he tried, but I, I get what you're saying. What you're saying. Shit. All right, there. <coughs> All right, there you go. Like that? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, All so right. that's where you, you could go. We're going to put a little foot, though. Huh? 
Sours in a song, you like, oh, it's the fuck type shit. Like, But the way it's set. We right here with you, but we got you. All right. We got you. Yeah, I ain't usually speaking. Yeah, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that little nigga rap like that. Oh, God. He's like, Nick Lads. Nick sound low. Nick sound low. That nigga don't sound low. Like, he's not low, but not. I'm trying to get me a motherfucker that talk about business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get me a meal for that talk about being a baby. Been grinding it lately. Call a big Rico, it's crunch time. Nigga, sit down, yeah, slash my. Spend on this block, we stay out to the sun fry. We fry as man, now he looking like Popeyes. These niggas watching my moves like a hotspot. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, just punch it in. Because you got some parts where you mumbling and stuttering. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's what yeah, I. Yeah, so just keep just keep telling them to cut it and then go in and then or do like three four lines. Mm, Cause you fucking ripping this whole bro. This shit go crazy, bro. No bullshit. I'm just trying to keep yeah. running out of breath and shit. Yeah, no it's bullshit. So don't run out of breath, nigga. When you when you feel like you about to get, do like, yeah, like do like four bars and then. All right. <laughs> Nigga sit down, yeah, it's lunchtime, spin on this block, we stay up to the sunrise, we fire as man, now he looking like Popeyes, these niggas watching my moves like a husband, he tried all day, got him feeling like my guy. Yeah, that shit right hard. There. Yeah, yeah, that shit hard right there. You know what I'm saying? Four feet tall. Bro, you don't know where Nick is. You see He's somewhere. Yeah, he's got a crowd around him dancing, bro. Like, he's in the middle of the hallway. Where was Nick in the school, bro? This nigga used to moonwalk through the hallway, like, Who is this? You funny as shit, dude. Nigga thought you were like with that. Alright, well, that's day one of Richmond Roulette. Uh, we back at it tomorrow. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> we're back at Verify Sound Studios for Richmond Roulette day two. Um, yesterday was real cool. Uh, I'm really big on establishing relationships before I work with everybody. So it was cool to see how everything uh, came together yesterday because uh, everybody in there was no no animosity. It was no nobody was tense. It was just a good vibe all the way around. So I hope day two goes like that. And yeah, you know, you reap what you sow. So I've been really trying to work hard. And you know, I got this dream for Richmond that I really want to accomplish, and I won't stop until you know it's fulfilled for real. You know, bro, and I would be like packing boxes at Amazon, just thinking about like what I wanted to do with Richmond Roulette. And I would take that time to like listen to music that uh, different artists would send me. And it's just crazy that how we're in day two of Richmond Roulette now. And I was just packing boxes at Amazon like two weeks ago. So it's just crazy how, how what you can do if you really put your mind to something. I chose the name Richmond Roulette really because it's, it's completely random. I'm taking different artists from different areas of Richmond and just bring them into a studio for two days. And whatever we got out of that studio, that's what we putting on the tape. And it's just like we spinning the chamber in the studio. So that's the whole thing behind Richmond Roulette. Yeah. You finish your job? Yeah, I did. I 
like CM. <laughs> CM Punk. That nigga Punk like CM. Like, CM, like, like CM, CM Punk? Punk. Yeah, 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 I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I first started rapping with my homies, like Justice. I don't know if y'all, mm -hmm. you know. You know. Yeah. I was rapping with Justice uh, in like PS4 parties and shit. <laughs> we do like freestyles and roast each other. And then we, um, we recorded them. And I started making music on my own and I liked it. Uh, I used to make beats a lot. Um, I think I only sold like one though, and then I started DJing for a little bit. But then I figured that I was better at rapping and singing and shit. Okay, so um, it's been going pretty well. Um, yeah, I already did that song with T. So now it's like, I didn't even have a, like a pro pro conversation until yesterday, and I felt like we already like knew each other because of it. Yeah. So like it was it was already cool. You know, I just did my verse so like, and he like. He liked it to the point where he it's almost like he already heard it, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So like he already knew what to expect. Yeah. So like he was already hyped with it. I pretty much know Ryan based off of what we went to the same high school together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like the whole time I was running track and he was playing baseball. I played baseball a little bit, but I hated it. Um, I saw you at a condition one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. So uh, like I, after that day, I just never came back. Like I was like, I don't want to be here anymore. But yeah, and like we never talked. But I was like, like. I I always see him and never knew like his name or anything. But then I uh, posted a video of Nick or Grimy Rico, and uh, <laughs> the video of Grimy Rico he commented on, and I was like, Yo, who is this? You know what I'm saying? Like I was just checking him out, and I I went on his page and I was like, Okay, this dude is dope. Like, let me get in contact with him. So I did an article on him. I wrote an article real quick, and uh, yeah, I added him in the RVA uh, artist group chat. And then the thing with Chanel. Uh, he, he gave the verse for Chanel, and then, like, I was like, okay, this guy's got something. So then I was like, all right, we need to get in the studio, and this is how we, how we came about, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it was natural, pretty much. It won't, it won't too crazy. Yeah, it's the homie. It's the man, Ryan. <laughs> it's the big homie. <laughs> Yo, bitch, wanna run my chain. This is shit I can't explain. All my niggas get high like planes. Got a four bitch, yes, from Spain. Know some niggas that shoot no aim. Yo, I'm full of Mary Jane. There's a motherfucking ice in the veins. You niggas be lying, you niggas ain't talking no shit. I put these niggas on game with bitches that got flying. I feel like Travis in his bitch. That nigga punch like seal. Nigga ducking every time that I see him. Hell of bitches in my deal. Yeah, I'm gonna get in this bitch. Full of Dre, I'm gonna flip that switch. Niggas waiting on them, getting rich. Yeah, I'm playing with a bitch like Switch. Man, this shit don't feel the same. Like a tape. I'm sworn to see my fan on fire. 
Alright, that's good. They about to record uh track five. Track five. I mean This nigga Nick. Bro, you good, bro. Just get it. Niggas were popping. Niggas be talking, slide on this block and we ready for action. I call up my hitter for dollars, so take off your head. And that's just one of the options, my niggas get crazy. Slide back, ain't talking Mercedes, these niggas, they sauce in their gravy. Pop out like the age. I'm trying to get me a meal for that talk about being a baby. All right. Yeah. Stand up, stand up, get that, like, because yeah. you need to bring some, some energy. All right. Yeah, some more energy? Yeah. But it's not like, like... Catch your breath, bro. And you can punch in, you know that, right? So if you yeah, like yeah. the way some shit sounds, don't just, don't, don't go too crazy. Play it real quick. Like, don't, don't rush your words. Let them bitches come to you. Nah, all right. These niggas watching my moves, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. you can, and you can, like, you can abbreviate this shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to, like, yeah, yeah. draw emphasis <laughs> on every single word, bro. But you straight. I'm going to let you live, though. It's your world. Hey, Rico really be tripping, bro. Like, he be tripping. <laughs> <laughs> it's recording. Yeah, but the red dot means oh, really? <laughs> Listen. You got a red dot means stop. <laughs> Rico be tripping. Yeah, you go to check. This my dog. We fires, man. Now we looking like Popeyes. These niggas watching my moves like a hot spot. Oh, yeah, shit, yeah, nigga. Thank you. Oh, thank shit, you. nigga. Thank That's what they're fucking telling you. You don't sound like you out of breath no more. Yeah, bro. that's what we trying to tell them. You just always tell them don't rush. Man. You're not out of breath. <laughs> that's your point. He trained all day, got him feeling like my guy. Yeah, hell yeah. 
said that bitch might be in your face. Why you like that? Like she hate me. I'm about to be switched that joint up after this right now. I've been rapping for about one year, so maybe want to rap. I just fuck with the energy about rapping and just something that my dad always did. You know, I pushed into it. So can you explain like your relationship with your brother and how y'all started rapping? With my brother. So basically, it's an advanced and ass story. We ain't like this one nigga. We said, fuck it. Let's make a diss track. <laughs> and basically, that's how it all came together. It was like, man, let's make some real shit. We made one song, and that bitch just kind of took off a little bit for us. I want to make an impact of everybody can make their music. Everybody, as long as you believe in your dreams, you can get it accomplished. No matter how many people with you, no matter how many people against you, you make some shit, somebody gonna always fuck with it. I know Lee, my love, love Lee from, um, <laughs> from Instagram. He just followed me one day. I think it was after I posted. Yeah, he posted Keezy. Yeah, I posted Big Fo Keezy, that's the homie. And uh, he just followed me and I said I was making a group chat full of RVA artists, you know what I'm saying, though, so they could collab or whatever. And he was like, he DM'd me out the blue and he was like, can I like, can I get in? And I was like, yeah, that's straight, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. I said with Santa, I just give everybody opportunity and I really like his work ethic. I really like the way he hustled. Um, just, he was, he was just, he was a good connection. Like everybody fucks with Lil Lee and you know, he, he hard. Like that's a little homie, so. Yeah. I could barely tell on your audience when you play it again. Something about you hate some fame. It looks swear you hate it. Your money's fuck you pay me. I swear this shit's contagious. Scrap, scrap that whole part. I'm gonna punch in each line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, girl, you idols are famous. Let me hear that. One more time, one more time, one more time. I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. Sorry, girl, you idols are famous. My next one. Give him money as fuck you pay me. Give him money as fuck you pay me. Yeah, he knocking this bitch out, bro. That shit ready. Fire, Second 
Let me let me redo um baddest girl you ever like you you the greatest. Uh, I think that's the one more over. Not that one bottom. Yeah, that one. I think it's that one. I'm gonna do that again. Silent ladies, baddest bitch when you say you the greatest. I lost my head in the clouds. Fuck around, start thinking aloud. She got me fucked up, no doubt. And she got me thinking about it. Lost, so I think I'm finding love. Oh, you had it so famous. Get love, you swear you hate it. Let me do back up again. Fuck you, pay me. I swear this shit is contagious. Hottest nigga, I swear I'm the latest. Yep. Better spirits when you say you the greatest. These hoes is always faking. These hoes gon' ever hate us. Oh, <laughs> 